The Lutron Caseta app is the easiest lighting control interface that I've ever used. It allows you to control devices, set up schedules, scenes, geofencing, and more. In this video, I'll take you through an in-depth look at all the features of the app. Down below are timestamps so that you can quickly navigate between the each section. Download the Caseta app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. You will also need to create an account with Lutron. When you open the app, you'll be taken to the main screen. The app has three main tabs, devices, scenes, and schedules. To dim or turn lights on or off, select the devices tab. Select the light you would like to control. If it's on a dimmer, you will see a slider as well as an on, off, and up and down buttons. If it's on a Caseta switch, then you will only see an on and an off button. Use the slider on the left to raise the level up or down, or simply hit the on or off buttons. To create a scene, select the Scenes tab. Click Add Scene. Select an icon. Then type the name of the scene. Click Next. Now select all your lights and devices, as well as your light level that you would like to include in the scene. If you have a Sono system, you can include that as part of the scene as well. Then hit Done. A screen will pop up to let you know that the scene has been successfully added to the system. To activate the scene, simply press the icon button on the left side. If you'd like to edit or delete the scene, press the pencil on the right side. If you'd like to add or edit devices, press devices. You will be brought back to the same screen where you added the lights previously. Click save if you've made any changes or hit the X in the top left corner if you want to go back to the previous screen. If you no longer need the scene, you can delete it by clicking the red Delete Scene text. A pop-up will ask you to confirm. Click Delete Scene and the scene will be removed. To create a schedule, select the Schedules tab. Then click Schedule an Event. Type the name of the schedule. If you'd like to schedule lights to come on and off, you will have to create two schedules, one for an on event and one for the off event. Keep that in mind when you name your schedules. Click Next. Select the days that you would like this event to occur. By default, it has all seven days selected. Click Next. Now, select the time that you would like this event to trigger. You can select the time of day or sunrise or sunset. It even lets you select an amount of time before or after sunrise or sunset. For this example, we want our lights to come on at sunset. Click Next. Now select the lights and make sure that they are all set to on or a specific light level. Click Done when you are finished. If you'd like to test this event, click on the Play button. If you'd like to deactivate the event, click on the slider. You can reactivate it at any time. I use this feature for seasonal events such as Halloween or Christmas lights. Now that we have created the on schedule, let's create the off event. Type in the name. Click Next. Select the days. Click Next. Now, for our off schedule, I will select a specific time, but you can select sunrise too. Click Next. 
choose your lights and make sure they are set to off. Click done when you are finished. It may take a few minutes for your new schedule to upload into the bridge. Here's a scheduling tip. When I set up a customer's system, I always create a sunrise event that turns off all lights. Even though there may already be a schedule to turn lights off, I like to add another lights off event at sunrise as a backup in case someone turned one of the lights back on. I also add lights that may not have been in a schedule originally. At sunrise, there really shouldn't be any lights on, so why not send a command to turn off all lights? To edit or delete a schedule, first click on the schedule name. To change the lights or light levels that are in a schedule, click on the device's text. Select the lights and levels that you would like to change. Click save when you are done. You can also change the time or the days by clicking here. To delete the schedule, click on the delete event text. You will be prompted to confirm the deletion. The setting menus allow you to do things like Add new devices, customize the appearance of the app, hide devices, add another Caseta system, or log off of your account. To get into the settings, click on the gear icon on the top left corner of the screen. The four main areas that we will cover are Add Device Section, Customize App, Arriving Leaving Home, and the Advanced Section. The Add Device menu allows you to add new Caseta and Pico devices. Under Add Device, it will show you how many Lutron devices you already have on your system. Currently, the limit is 75 devices. Click Add Device and it will bring you to this screen. Here, select the type of device you are adding. For this example, I will add a Pico keypad in my office to control a plug-in module. Next. I will press and hold the bottom button on the Pico for 10 seconds. Now I will select the room that the Pico is in. Then you have a choice of lights or shades. This Pico will control lights, so I will keep the default lights selected. Now if you'd like to add another device, select add another device. I only need to add one Pico now, so I will select I am done adding devices. After the system finishes uploading, it will return you to the main page. Now that we have added the Pico, let's make sure that it's controlling the correct light. Click on the Pico, click Edit Device, click on Devices. Now scroll down and double check that the office lamp is the only one that's checked. To edit or delete a device, click on the device. Then click Edit Device. On this screen, you can change the name of the device, the room that it is located in, the type of device, the device icon, and the new Auto Off Timer feature. None of these settings affect the actual load that the Caseta dimmer or switch control. You can also delete a device from this screen. The new Auto Off Timer feature allows you to turn the device off after a certain amount of time. Click on the device that you'd like to add the timer to. Click on Edit Device. Click on Auto Off Timer. Then select Enable Timer. You can set the Auto Off Timer between 1 minute and 4 hours. In this example, I'll set it for 30 minutes. Now, anytime that exhaust fan is turned on, it will automatically turn off after 30 minutes. Lutron's wireless motion detector allows you to trigger lights to turn on and off. To edit, click on the motion detector icon. From this screen, you can test both the on and off event. Click on edit device to go into settings. Similar to other devices, you can change the name and the room the motion detector is located in. Here, 
You can choose which devices are going to be turned on and off when motion is detected. When you click on the devices to include, it will display a setting for auto on. This is when motion is detected and auto off. This is triggered after no motion has been detected for the length of the timeout period. When you select a device, the default will be to turn the device on when motion is detected and off after the timeout period. To change this, simply select what you want to happen when motion is detected and what you want to happen after the timeout period. You can turn the device on, off, set it to a dim level, or have it unaffected. For example, if you wanted to have a motion detector, just turn lights on, but not turn them off. You can select on for the auto on and unaffected for the auto off. The sensitivity and timeout settings are on the back of the actual motion detector and not in the app. It also allows you to group multiple motion detectors together. This is very useful for large areas. For example, I have multiple motion detectors in my garage that turn lights on and off. I have one motion detector close to the door so that it triggers immediately when I open the door, and another motion detector in the main garage area so that the lights won't turn off if I'm working in there. You can set the time that you want the motion sensor to automatically turn lights on and off. The app allows you to adjust both the auto on sensing and the auto off sensing. You can select all day, only at night, or a specific start and end time. By default, both auto on and auto off are set to all day motion sensing. Lutron recently released a new Diva style dimmers that work with the Caseta system. These dimmers are amazing. The added features not available in the regular Caseta dimmers like the ability to use a mechanical three-way switch, they turn on to the preset dim level, double tap to full brightness, and they have an off timer. If you edit a Diva dimmer, you'll see three additional advanced settings, trim, fade, and status LEDs. The trim level allows you to set the high end and low end trim settings. If your LED lights are turning off at the low dim setting, then you'll have to increase your low end trim until they turn on. Once you adjust the low end trim setting, press the test and save button and it will turn the lights off and then back on to the new low end setting. If your lights are still not turning on, then increase the low end setting and press test and save again. You may have to repeat this a few times until the lights are set the way you want them to. You could also set your high end trim to a lower setting than 100% to save energy. The status LED section allows you to set how the LEDs on the right slider behave when the slider is on and off. I keep both settings to on. When the switch is off, the slider LEDs are dim, but bright enough to find the switch in the dark. The fade setting allows you to set both the fade on and fade off times anywhere from a quarter second all the way to 15 seconds. Fade time only works when directly controlling it from the Diva dimmer or the Pico Paddle remote. Click on Customize App. The home screen can be customized to separate the devices into rooms or display all the devices. Here's what the layout looks like with the showroom selected. Here's what it looks like with showrooms off. You can also have your favorite devices listed on top. Here's what it would look like with show favorite devices on. To hide devices from the main page, select show slash hide devices. Here you can uncheck the lights and devices that you don't want to show. For example, I like to remove all the Pico keypads and only show the actual lights. It does not delete anything or affect any of the programming. You can always return here and select a device to make it show up on the home page again. The themes menu allows you to change the layout, panel and icon colors, and even add a background photo. The default is a white panel color, but I prefer the black. Geofencing allows you to turn lights on and off based on your phone's GPS location. The arriving slash leaving home menu is used to set up geofencing. Click on what decides if you are home. Select my phone's location. 
click on set home location. Use the slider near the top to adjust the distance from your house. The default is a thousand feet. So when your phone gets within 1000 feet of your house, it will trigger the arriving home scene. Click the arrow in the top left corner to return to the previous menu when you are done. You can also have the app notify you if you leave the house and the lights are still on. I personally don't use this feature because other people still could be at the house. Click the arrow in the top left corner to return to the previous menu when you are done. Click to the right of arriving home to select which lights you would like to turn on when you arrive home. Now select the lights and light levels that you would like to set. You have the option to have the arriving home scene only activate after sunset. Click to the right of leaving home if you'd like the lights to turn off when you leave home. Select lights and the light levels. The leaving home scene does not have the option of only triggering after sunset. It will always trigger when your phone leaves the coverage area. SmartAway allows you to have lights randomly turn on and off to make it look like someone is home. SmartAway can be activated manually or automatically when your phone leaves the coverage area. You can set a start time and an end time. Click lights to include to select the lights that will be randomly turned on and off. Next, select the lights. You can't select dim levels. The lights will come on at full brightness. Click save when you are finished. Now click on start time and enter the time that you would like the random lights feature to start. Do the same for the end time. Currently, there is not an option to select dusk or dawn. You must select a specific time period. Click the arrow in the upper left hand corner to return to the previous screen when you are finished. Next, we will cover the advanced menu. Click advanced. At the top, click integration. This will allow you to select Telnet support if you are integrating to a third party controller. Note, this is only available on the Bridge Pro, so you may not even have this option in your system. Under Connections menu, you can see the current connections linked to your system, such as Google Home, Alexa, or Ring doorbells. Under Network Settings, you can either select a specific IP address for your Lutron Bridge, or leave it at the default DHCP setting. Normally, you would just keep it as DHCP, unless you have a third-party controller that needs a specific IP address that doesn't change. The Time and Location menu will show you which time zone you're in and your longitude and latitude. The Range Extender menu will show you if you have a range extender and or a plug-in dimmer that is acting as a range extender. We put both a range extender and lamp module in most installations. If you have multiple plug-in dimmers, the system will automatically select the first one installed. Unfortunately, you cannot change this in the range extender menu. In order to change this, you would have to remove the other plug-in dimmers from the system, make sure that the app selected the one that you want to use, and then re-add the other ones back in. To learn more about the Lutron Caseta system, check out these videos.